Okay, you know I have a lawsuit against Stembridge. You know I've cost them about $500 million. Do you see those two bolts? All right. Check that. There is none on this side. Somebody took them out. I talked to the motorcycle guy, um, and he said those will not vibrate out, uh, especially both of them. And somebody's trying to kill me. I mean, we all know that it's possible, but I mean, come on. They want to make sure it looks like it's an accident. And uh, well, I just want you to know if anything ever happens to me and uh, car accident or anything, Embridge took me out. That's my honest opinion. That's what I believe. I got this huge lawsuit against them right now coming up. And it's about the oil cover up. It's about them harassing truth tellers and whistleblowers. And the evidence I have is so good and great that they don't want me around. And they were hoping my wheel would fall off going down the road. Clifford Harper. And you're my neighbor, right? Right. So I noticed two bolts missing out of the bottom of the forks. And uh, they don't come out by themselves. You think somebody took them out? I'm sure they did. Why do you think they would do that? Beyond me, I don't know. I know. You don't know a lot about the oil spill stuff. but No, I don't know nothing about it. So I went to um, check these ones out. And they're already loose. All right, everybody? They're, they're not even tight. See how loose that is? Right. They, they were not tight. So they took the ones out of the other side. They loosened this side up. And obviously I, they could have, this whole wheel would have fell off riding it down the road. So what do you think now that you see the other side was loose? Somebody did it intentionally. And you might have almost caught them. That's why they left it in. You don't like being on camera, do you? No. <laughs> Not really. So why did you decide to do this? Because I, uh, I don't believe in some way messing with your stuff. You're 74 years old? Yep. And uh, have you ever seen uh, bolts come out um, the front of tires like that? No, nope, not even. I raced them and I did everything with bikes and I never had one wheel fall off ever. But I didn't have one loosen up either. You never had one loosen up? No, they're not built to loosen up. And so I had two that was gone and two that was loose. Right. What, what's that make you think? Somebody don't like you. Ward Lawrence. Ward Lawrence. I'm a sergeant with the sheriff. Okay. Yep. Well, the thing is, Zembridge is building an $8 billion pipeline through Canada. And mm -hmm. the Canadians are voting whether they want it or not. And they're, the people, the opposers are using my videos as evidence to not ah. allow them. So this is not just local, this is national. I guess so. And uh, You should have been a cook the way you stir the pot. Yeah. You keep an eye on things. You see something suspicious. I I even my, if it's nothing, you know, I know I normally you wouldn't call, but because of this crap, give us a call. Let us, because we're up and down Michigan Avenue all the time. We would do our reports at the fire station. You know, this is our main east-west riding on the east side. Okay. So if you give us something, we can we can usually be here pretty quick. If you're going to stand here and say you're crazy, I'm not going to do that either. Right. I'm going to write down what you told me to add to what you already know and hope that you get justice because you're getting justice for everybody. Actually, Those fucking I mean, bolts didn't no, fall out. Actually, I ain't buying it. No, so it's definitely whatever somebody did. That can't do it. So. Did, that's it. Did, if one came out, you'd say, well, maybe it rattled loose because motorcycles ain't the most uh, shock absorbed thing. Well, this one doesn't shake. I mean, this ain't all like a Harley, you know. This is nice and smooth. And what is it? It's a Honda 1300 Sabre. I'll be darned. And, uh, the bike shop told you they won't rattle out. No, he said, I've never seen one rattle out. Either. Right. And if one did, we could all sit around, drink beer, and go, look what happened. Oh, yeah, yeah. But two, at exactly the same time, bullshit. Yeah. And then when the other two are loose, that's all, I mean, that just points to a person that did it. You drew a line in the sand against a very big enemy. You're the Alamo up against the Mexican army. I hope
hopefully you don't have the same outcome. But you also can't undo what you started. You can't walk away from it because that's how, they're not going to go, well, George will be quiet for a while and then it'll go away. Well, it's not like you can quit halfway into the game. I'm surprised they didn't pay him off already just to shut him off. You know, you're you're in it. You're the one that's going to decide what the end uh, result's going to be. I won't take a, a gag order, though. I've already told them that. Oh. That there's no way I'm taking a gag order. That's what, otherwise, they, none of this means anything because they, they'll say we can't use videos anymore. You can't give speeches anymore. The, oh, yeah. I got three guys writing books about what I've done. They can't, you know, I can't be a part of that anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would wipe everything out. I can't have a gag order. It well, would, the thing is, is, you know, I don't understand why you live this rurally. With a wife, a pregnant wife, why aren't you I thought it was job? nice being away, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, Yeah, but Enbridge is working right on the other side of those trees, right? That's yeah, where the spill is, isn't it? Very, yeah. very, okay. very quiet. So my, I guess my thing is, if I was you, I would be somewhere where I was more visible. You know, this is secluded. And it, granted, you're in town. I mean, you're not like you're living out in Fulton where this, I live. This neighborhood's so quiet, when you see a police car come down here, you think they're lost. <laughs> <laughs> You've already made your stand. You could tell, call them tomorrow and say, you know what, I've had enough, I'm quitting. It ain't going to change nothing. Because if you blew the whistle once, we'll keep you from blowing it again. Your videos have already been out there. For all you supporters, and for everybody that is fighting Enbridge and these oil companies that are pushing tar sands through Canada and America, North America, um, we all need to stand together. I have an, a huge lawsuit. It's giving Enbridge the biggest black eye, uh, actually broken arm, broken leg, two black eyes. That's what I've been given Enbridge. I'm just one man. I'm a nobody. Um, but I didn't quit. And I didn't like to be called a liar. And I've proved everything I've said. I proved all the accusations I've ever made. I proved them. They've redug up areas that they said were 100% clean. And Enbridge signed off on them before the EPA ever even looked at them and signed off on them. Because that's Enbridge's excuse. Oh, well, we did things to EPA standards. You can't do something to their standards if you actually signed off on it first. Enbridge is a guilty party here. EPA was suckered. And they finally figured it out. And that's why they're now making them re-clean up all these areas. And it was all because I sparked this. I might not have made Enbridge re-clean it up, but I put so much pressure on them by the YouTube videos and going to the press and just documenting the areas that were still full of oil with a newspaper to prove that the date they said it was clean, after that date, it's still dirty still full of oil, covered. I just met a, a worker just the other day that said that he, he buried oil with his front end loader and was told to do it. Um, I've had several workers come forward and we have an environmental inspector that's came forward. We've had many, many people, police chief, county commissioner, tons of people that are backing up everything I've ever said. And it took me three to four years for people to realize everything I was saying was true. Well, I'm a little sick of these threats, but they're trying to make it look like an accident. You have to understand they harassed me for several years. I had hundreds and hundreds of text messages. I've went to the police many times. I've went to the FBI, and no one would ever do anything. And just now, people are starting to realize that Enbridge isn't the great company that you think it is. Enbridge is evil. They don't care about us, and they're spending hundreds of millions of dollars in advertising and websites and propaganda to make themselves look like they're the innocent and it was an accident. They knew the pipe was bad for five years. They chose not to fix it because if they close the pipe down, it's eight million dollars a day they lose approximately. Um, it's even more than that. But what they do is just wait for the insurance company to pay for everything when there's a spill. It, it's profitable for them to have spills. It saves them tens of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars, because then they raise the gas prices, then they put their workers to work, then they buy property all over, and they buy it real cheap and sell it for a lot more. Um, 
uh, it's it's sickening it once you dig through and that's what my lawsuit's about my lawsuit is to prove the cover-up to prove the harassment to prove that they're trying to stop a truth teller stop the whistleblower this is why I'm having this lawsuit. You need to understand this lawsuit is so big. It's bigger than ever hooking yourself to a bulldozer and going to jail for it. This is, I, I'm going to die for this. Do you understand? Even the police officer just said, I, they're going to get me. It doesn't matter if I move to Florida. It doesn't matter if it's five years from now. They're going to get me because they do not want me to go to the, all these sites again. But I'll tell you what, me and my wife Courtney were getting on our motorcycle and we were going for a motorcycle ride and if it wasn't for our neighbor riding motorcycles his whole life and thank God he just looked over the bike when we were uh, talking to him for a second before we took off we would be dead right now I've gave him six or seven hugs so far and he doesn't like hugs Do you have to understand we would be dead right now and, and right before I testify what do you know I'm supposed to go testify against Enbridge, and they do it right before I'm supposed to testify. And, and, and it's going to look like an accident. It's going to look like a motorcycle accident. There's no way to prove who did it. I can't prove Enbridge did it. But who else is going to... Nobody... I don't have any enemies. The only people that have ever harassed me or bothered me was Enbridge or subcontractors of Enbridge. And, and a lot of those guys have apologized to me in the last few years because they were lied to by Enbridge. This is big. This is very, very big. This is, we're talking about billions of dollars that's affecting Canadian pipelines, the Excel pipelines. My evidence, four years of documentation, 8,000 hours of my free time. I've spent probably thirty-five to $37,000 out of my pocket. I've only received like two or 3,000 in donations. I, I haven't, I've only received a, a smidget of what I've paid out. I've sold everything I own in the past to pay for gasoline and pay for SD cards and pay for a better camera. And my camera still sucks. Um, but it's good enough for YouTube. But it's not good enough for the big screen. It's not good enough to get a documentary out there, you know, like Gasland, which I'm trying to do. I don't, I don't know how to edit videos and do it really well and do it properly. Um, anybody ever wants to help me out there, Come to my house. I have a camper. You can stay in the camper. You can live here for six months, and, and we will do nothing but edit this and get this documentary out. It needs to be told. The story needs to be told. I know you're watching, Embridge, and I'm telling you right now, if anything ever happens to my unborn child or my child when she, after she's born, or Courtney, and if I live from something that you guys cause. If I live, I will spend every waking moment until the day you kill me and I will go to every single oil spill for the rest of my life and I will cost you, you think 500 million is a lot that I've already costed you? I will cost you billions. I will find every mistake you ever make. I will prove every cover up. I will expose everything that you ever do for the history of Embridge. I promise you that. If you ever, ever take out anybody in the pursuit to hurt me and I live, I will, you have no idea I am not a violent person, but I'm a smart person, and I will. I will go after every registration of every truck to make sure you're legal. I know all the ins and outs. You, Embridge, you know my whole family works for, for you. They work for subcontractors that work for you, that put in pipe for you. I know everything about you. I know all your tricks. I know there's nothing you can hide from me. I got whistleblowers on the inside now that are telling me things that you would never even imagine that I know. And now we got law firms um, with security guards coming forward and, and a whole security firms going to testify um, at depositions against you and tell the truth that you lied to the judge. All this is coming out. I promise you. I haven't even begun yet. And if anything happens to anybody, you'll never hear the end of me. Ever.